Hello, it's me again. I'm now here to give you the answers. I have borrowed my daughter's one to nine jigsaw pieces just so that I can show you simply how to get the answer. So the first part of my answer is that five is going to be in the middle. Once five is in the middle, we can then start to look at number bonds because 15 take away five is going to give us 10. So all of the rows and the columns, the missing numbers are going to add up to 10. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make my number bonds to 10. So I have one and nine, two and eight, three and seven, and six and four. What I'm then going to do is to put them onto my grid. So I'm going to make sure that they are opposite the number five. So for example here, one and nine, they're going either side of the five on the same row. Now, I know that in order to make 15, I don't want to put my eight on either of these squares because I want them to be away from the nine. So I'm going to try and put my eight here in this bottom corner. If I do that, then I know that I need to put my two opposite it because two plus eight equals 10. So now we can work it out, start to think about some numbers. So eight plus one is nine. So I know that I need my six. Let's slide my six in there. So to go opposite my six, I need to have my four down here. Two plus four is six plus nine is 15. So then I need to look along here. So all I've got left is my three and my seven. So here I have eight plus four, which is 12. So let's put my three in here. And at the top, seven plus six is 13. Add the two is 15. There are eight different answers, I think. And I think the even numbers need to be in the corners. However, why not investigate? See if you can make it work with putting your odd numbers in the corners. I'd be interested to see if that works too. Thanks for playing along. See you soon.